MGR Educational and Research Institute warmly welcomes you to its world-class educational campus that showcases excellent infrastructure facility housing various departments in diverse fields of study. Faculty of Engineering and Technology. IBM Lab. R&D Microsoft Lab. Sun Java Lab. .NET Lab. CDAC Garuda Lab. Internet Center. Apple iMac Lab. Cisco Net Academy. High Tech Lab, Cyber Forensic Lab, Intel Internet of Things Lab, Communication Lab 1, Electronic Circuits and Devices Lab, QMAX VLSI Testing Center, Linear Digital Integrated Circuits, Microwave and Optical Communication Lab, VLSI and Embedded Design DSP Lab, Microprocessor Lab, Electrical Machines Lab, Electrical Machines Lab 1 and 2. Smart Grid, Digital Design Lab, Electronic Circuits Lab, Digital Simulation Lab, Linear and Digital Integrated Circuits Lab, LDIC Lab, Lab View, Process Control Lab, Mechatronics Lab, Dynamic Lab, IC Engines Lab, Center of Excellence Multi Fuel Engine Setup, Center of Excellence Biodiesel Plant, Metrology Lab, Metallurgy Lab, CAD Lab, CAM Lab, CNC Lathe, CAM Lab, CNC Milling Machine, Boiler Turbine Setup, Robotics Lab, Heat and Mass Transfer Lab, Welding Lab, Machine Shop Lab, Fluid Mechanics Lab, Manufacturing Technology Lab, Fluid Mechanics and Machinery Lab, Fluid Mechanics Lab, Survey Experiment, Survey Cam, Strength of Material Lab, Concrete Lab, Soil Mechanics Lab, Structural Lab, Environmental Lab, Transportation Lab, CAD Lab, Biochemistry Lab, Autoclave, Microbiology Lab, DBT Research Lab, Tissue Culture Lab, Genomics Lab, Bioprocess Lab, Instrumentation Lab, Molecular Biology Lab, Downstream Processing, Physics Lab, Chemistry Lab, English Communication Lab Research Lab 1 Research Lab 2 Lecture Hall Computer Lab
Animation Lab. Computer Graphics and Multimedia. Chroma Studio. Advanced Java Programming Lab. Software Testing Lab. Web Technology Lab. Lecture Hall. Architecture Studio One. Architecture Studio Two. VARC Computer Lab. MARC Computer Lab. Photography Lab. Workshop VARC. A very good afternoon to all. We are on the third day of our international webinar series on futuristic trends in engineering and its evolving career prospects, organized by first year BTEC department in collaboration with Office of International Relations. So on behalf of our organizing committee, I welcome you all for today's session. Manufacturing, science, and engineering are incredibly creative. The engineer has been and is a maker of history. The scientists discover a new type of material or energy, and the engineer discovers a new use for it. So, for today's session, we are having two eminent speakers with us Dr. Jing Zhou Tang, Professor, Department of Electronics Engineering, Southern Taiwan, University of Science and Technology, Taiwan, and Dr. BVP Prasad to give a detailed explanation on vehicle networking, IVN, CAN bus, and LIN bus. The beginning is the most important part of the work. So to begin with our session, I would like to call upon Mr. G. Manigantan, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, to deliver the welcome speech. Very good morning to all. I would like to express my sincere thanks to our Honorable Founder Chancellor, Dr. A.C. Shanmugam, sir, and our Honorable President Engineer, ACS Arun Kumar, sir, for given great opportunity to conduct this international webinar series. On behalf of Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute, First Year B.Tech Campus, it is my great privilege to welcome everyone in the third day international webinar series on futuristic trends in engineering and its evolving in jointly organized with 
Office of International Relations. I welcome to our respected Vice Chancellor, Dr. S. Geeta Lakshmi Ma'am, Dr. G. Gopala Krishnan, Provost of our University, Dr. C. B. Panlivelu, Registrar, Dr. V. Cyril Raj, Joint Registrar, Academics and Administration, Dr. D. B. Chebraj, Joint Registrar, EMS, Dr. L. Ramesh, Dean Evans, Publications and Alumni, Dr. N. S. Subhashri Ma'am, Dean EMS, Dr. Kausalya, Coordinator, Office of International Relations, to be with us today. We are fortunate to have an eminent speaker, Dr. Jing Jo Tang, Professor, Department of Electronics Engineering, Southern Taiwan University of Science and Technology, Taiwan. Welcome, sir. And Dr. BVP Prasad, who is a guest speaker of this second session, I welcome both wonderful speakers to talk about in-vehicle networking, CAN bus, LAN bus. They got more knowledge and passion in the above field. This will make today's sessions are very effective. I extend my warm welcome to our all participants. Once again, I welcome everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir. True leaders always practice the three R's, respect for self, respect for others, and responsibility for all their actions. So we are having a true leader with us, Dr. L. Ramesh, Dean EPA. So I invite Dr. L. Ramesh, sir, to deliver the keynote address. Uh, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, it was very uh, uh, great. Uh, uh, good afternoon to all the participants uh, who are watching in YouTube. And uh, uh, good afternoon and welcome all the members uh, who connected with, uh, through this platform here. And it was very happy to be part of this international webinar. And congratulations to the Office of International Relations who uh, behind this uh, uh, conversation and uh, making the guests to accept the invitation. And uh, it is organized by uh, Faculty of Engineering and Technology, first year campus. Uh, congratulations to the team, Subhashri Ma'am, Jabarai Sir, and the whole team uh, planning a five-day uh, webinar series. Uh, it was good planned with uh, the perfectly planned with the titles which is decided. Uh, it, it is going not only this webinar, like there is a, in our university, Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute, uh, uh, international webinars are uh, going with uh, in connection with our Office of International Relationship. I appreciate uh, Kausalya Ma'am uh, because uh, he is uh, uh, connecting the people abroad uh, and uh, taking to the respective department and uh, organizing with that. Uh, so it is, it is good. Uh, initiative because the joining with the department and uh, organizing it will be helpful to get a more participants not only that more relationship between department and office of international relationship yes a uh, little i will uh, tell about our uh, plan of actions which we are uh, focusing in our university we have a association named uh, magic we call it as a magic it is the mgr association for great innovative creators so under this magic association, all the department will have a, uh, their own association. Uh, first year will have the uh, first year engineering and technology have the first year association. And the uh, electrical department or mechanical department, medical, dental, all will have a collective their association. And every semester they will plan and execute the event according to uh, already predefined one. What is already decided based on that it will be planned. And the final end of the semester, uh, we will monitor all the execution of the event and the, it will be given a, a continuous uh, uh, ranking executions. Uh, on that behalf, I would like to appreciate the engineering and technology. Last three, I hope last two years, uh, they are coming uh, uh, for a 100% ranking system. Uh, appreciate all the team for the successful execution of the event. The planning of the event is uh, always okay. Uh, uh, anyone can plan an event. But execution of the event at a right date and the right time with the right speakers, it is very difficult. And now we all moved to the online platform. Uh, so the, uh, so the, it is going good that a uh, lot of events, not only this event, the lot of particular uh, uh, four or five already continuous events are organized by ENT first years. And uh, I hope the lot of participants also participating. And uh, now there is a good relationship between uh, the international relationship is going on. That is what which I feel. Uh, previously, 
when we talk about the international seminar or international webinar or international conference it is very difficult for us to uh, take a professors from abroad and connect to here a very limited uh, part of things are there but totally uh, even it is very tough for all us to be in the corona situation but it, in this situation it is a good thought that today uh, all the international professors are connecting with us and providing their very valuable knowledge uh, uh, which is sharing their knowledge itself it is a very very uh, prestigious one because there are very few people uh, able to share their knowledge uh, to all the across the globe so in that uh, i will appreciate the professors uh, today the uh, professor dr jing uh, so the sir i am very much proud of you and you accepted our invitation and another speaker uh, to be part of us today uh, with our audience and going to express uh, your experience with us and i am very happy that one of the chennai uh, uh, student who is all, I, you introduced me when we had a discussion in initially uh, the chennai person is doing uh, some uh, pdf i hope with you uh, uh, it is a good good uh, shine uh, uh, good good initiative and good networking that uh, a person from tamil nadu uh, be there and doing some good work assisting work with you thank you and thank you uh, so much and thank you all for inviting me to give you a little introduction about our association and all the activities which we have planned thank you ma'am thank you thank you sir thank you for connecting with us today growing up is all about learning new things knowing new people facing new challenges enjoying happiness and fighting against bad times so now to know about our eminent speaker i call upon ms sarala assistant professor department of mathematics to introduce our guest speaker thank you ma'am good afternoon to all i am very much privileged to introduce the speaker professor jing jo tang from taiwan he received the bs ms and phd degrees in electrical engineering from the national cheng kang university taiwan in 1986 88 and 1995 From 1990 to 92, he was a CAE engineer with Mitech International Corporation. Two Intel compatible CACHI controllers were successfully designed by him. He joined the faculty of Department of Electronic Engineering in Southern Taiwan University of Science and Technology in 1995. In 1999, he was promoted as the first full professor in the Electronic Engineering Department. From 2001 to 2005, he was the head of that department. In 2009 he was assigned as the deputy director of the semiconductor industry promotion office organized by IDB MOEA he published more than 10 textbooks 100 papers and 8 patents he had more than 8 year experience on the vehicle can bus application function verification physical protection and networking administration he was granted more than 200000 usd per year research projects from ministry of education ministry of science and technology warm welcome sir thank you sarla ma'am so before going on to the session i just have an example for an engineer if you have a glass of water which is filled half an optimist will see and say the glass is half full the pessimist will see and say the glass is half empty whereas the engineer will say the glass is twice as big as it needs to be because the engineer always thinks to solve the problems today the vehicles use most electronics to cope up with the requirements of drivers and passengers and also has concern about environment and fuel consumption so now we will come to know about how the can bus and lin bus are used in vehicle networking so now i welcome professor Dr. Jing Jo Tang, Department of Electronics Engineering, Southern Taiwan University of Science and Technology, Taiwan. Sir, it's your time to start over the session. Mm, yeah. Okay. Thanks for the um, introduction. Good afternoon, all to all the participants. Uh, first of all, um, English is not my um, official language. Or, or Official languages, so, but I will do my best to give this presentation and show you something of what we did in the past ten years. Um, first, I will introduce our um, school and then our department and then I myself. Um, 
um, our school um, is um, Southern Taiwan University of Science Technology. Um, in Taiwan, um, university has two tracks. Um, one is um, academic and another one is vocational. Our school belongs to the vocational track. And um, the mission of the vocational track university is to train students to have most hands-on um, skill. Um, so in our school, we provide a more hands-on course for our students. Um, and our department, the electronic engineering department, will focus on most on the microelectronic communication, um, something like that. Uh, first, I will um, show you the location of Taiwan. <laughs> Taiwan is very um, close to mainland China. Um, the distance between mainland China and Taiwan is it around two. Uh, 200 kilo, um, kilometers, um, so it's very close to mainland China. So, the, um, the especially the political situation between mainland China and Taiwan is very serious and complicated. And just just like that of India and between um, China. Um, what is the um, distance between India and China? We are here and India are here. Right now, we are thinking about to to promote or more our idea to India. And uh, the gentleman seated beside me is Dr. Prasa. Um, he had um, received um, training and uh, contributed medicine in Taiwan. Hopefully he will get, go back to China in the next June. Uh, what's the problem? Any problem? No? The presentation oh, yeah. not. Yeah, okay. Sorry, wait a moment. What's up? So they didn't see the, the presentation. They, they didn't see the presentation. Yeah. Oh, the I voice, see. Voice oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I will, I will restart my presentation again. Okay. Sorry, I will restart. <laughs> the beginning. Okay. Can anybody um, see the presentation slide in your screen? Share screen. Okay. Now I will share my uh, presentation slide to all you. I wonder anyone can see the slide. Can anybody see the presentation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry. Yes, it is visible, sir. Okay. okay. When I say next page, okay, 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 okay. Can anybody um, see the presentation slide? I will restart the presentation. Um, I'm Jin Zhou Tang from Southern Taiwan University of Science Technology, and today I will um, share something. Um, what we did in the past 10 years, especially um, focus on the vehicle electronics. Um, uh, first of all, um, I have to, to say sorry that um, English is our, not our official language. So um, my presentation may not be as good as you. Um, however, I will do my best. First, I will show you uh, what is Taiwan? Taiwan is very close to mainland China. We are located in the east coast of mainland China. And the distance between mainland China and the Taiwan is about 200 kilometers. So the political situation of Taiwan uh, is very complicated and uh, serious. And because the power of the want to be independent and the power of the want to be unit with, unified with mainland China. And the distance between um, Taiwan and then India um, is is far away and also close. Right now we are thinking about to promotion our idea 
Um, actually, the Pomolala product in India, last year we had visited uh, Chennai um, for a couple of days, and the gentleman said that beside me is Dr. Prasad from Chennai. And we have seen a lot of opportunity for us to promote our idea. And today I will show you um, something about the IVM. IVM stands for the in vehicle networking. Yep. And we are located at the south of Taiwan, the south Taiwan. So we call the south, um, Southern Taiwan University of Science Technology. And, and uh, this map uh, is um, drawn by a Portuguese um, salesman in the 16th century. So it's quite uh, similar to the uh, contemporary the, uh, map of Taiwan. Um, our, our university, is, um, Southern Taiwan University of Science and Technology, the department I was, is the Department of Electronic Engineering. You know Taiwan is very strong on semiconductor manufacturing. So our student all, all, um, has a good um, opportunity to enter the um, semiconductor industry. Um, um, from the beginning, our, our university is not a university, it's just only the college. At that time, around uh, uh, 50 years ago, it's, we, uh, we only provide a four-year and two-year junior college. And then we provide a four-year undergraduate program. Right now, we have master degree program, and PhD degree program. Um, and many years ago, we passed uh, the IET accredited. accredited. Uh, because we want to join the international program and uh, the, the course we provide for undergraduate or graduate student can be recognized uh, by most of the international school. Um, today I will show um, something uh, special about the Vehicle Electronic Research Center. Right now I am the director of the Vehicle Electronic Research Center. And in this department we provide a five major uh, field. There is, that is the five major program. The first one is microelectronics. The second one is the IC design. Um, third one is the system application, and fourth one is networking and communication. So the, the latest one is artificial IoT, and we provide a, a master degree, um, and uh, we also have PhD degree. So we welcome um, students from India to to join this program. Um, um, the number of faculty is uh, around 30. Right now we have uh, seven uh, full professors, 13 associate professors, and 10 assistant professors. Also, we have two lectures. Um, uh, regarding the qualification, that is the quality quality of the um, researcher, professor. Uh, more than 90% um, uh, of faculty members have PhD degree. Um, I will show you um, something about what we did in each program. For the IC design field, we train our students to design uh, integrated circuit. Uh, actually, to tell the truth, uh, around um, 25 years ago, um, that is my first job in this school. Uh, I asked my students to design su uh, such kind of, of circuit um, before they graduated from the university. Um, they have to get a real sample of this integrated circuit. Um, and in addition to get the real circuit, they also students have to test their integrated circuit and to test the functionality and even the reliability. So after this kind of um, training, students always can get a good job. And for the second program, uh, we provide the networking and communication. In this program, students receive the um, courses and um, about the wireless communication, obviously design and uh, AIoT, something like that, I, I did, uh, for the system application, um, the system cover many things about the uh, uh, robust system, communication system, uh, control system, something like that. And today we provide us um, artificial intelligence courses for our students for the machine learning and networking communication embedded system, and a control program, and also we provide uh, an unmanned uh, aircraft system application. Yep. The final one is the microelectronics. It's a basis of the fundamental of our, our um, department. Um, in, this, um, um, in this field, we provide some cost for green electronics, optical electronics, and the display electronics, and the surrounding electronics. And this is the fact, uh, facility we have in this 
um, department. Uh, all of this is a training for undergraduate student training. Uh, I didn't show you some research I left here. Um, um, in, in the um, basement of the building or department, we provide a, a larger space for undergraduate student uh, project because in this um, department, students are always uh, request request to have a um, um, term project term project uh, before they graduate they have to get the uh, to get the critical term project not even to uh, finish their term project they have to attend the competition before they graduate so we provide a large uh, a large large space for them to um, conduct their um, the project and this some um, we call the maker space and this is the maker space for them to have some hands-on job to discussion and uh, some basic equipment scope um, um, 3d printers um, something like that okay now i will show you my background um before i entered to enter the school i was a student in national Kong university just like the uh, introdu introduction uh, before um and um, when i was the phd student the major fear is the better testing i found that um, your school also had uh, uh, faculty and do something some research about the uh, better testing uh, after i um, was been a, a professor in this university i uh, changed my field a little bit because uh, this um, university is a vocational based university, not academic university. So I can train our students to be an academic guy. Uh, but the major course I teach is a bit of science. So um, this um, circuit design actually is a um, CMOS layout. CMOS design is, is one of the courses I teach for my students. So I teach my students to, to lay out a chip. Uh, also, I have to teach my student to, to understand what is the EDA. That, is, that means the electronic design automation. Also, I have some research and development on the 3D IC. 3D means the three dimension IC. And in Taiwan, um, the manufacturer right now can provide the 3D IC. That is to, to stack the, the IC, uh, stack the, the, the semiconductor vector in, in, the, in the Z dimension. And after the 2008, uh, that is the financial crisis of the year. I was tempted to leave the, um, the school uh, because the industry invited me to join. Also, there is a government uh, research institute. That is the industry, industry technical research institute invited me to join their research. So I temporarily leave the school for three years. After I came to um, this uh, university to, uh, to be a professor again, I found this um, research, research institute, uh, this research center, that is the vehicle electronic research center. Um, right now we focus on the in vehicle networking. Um, this in vehicle networking exists um, everywhere in your vehicle, not only your vehicle, uh, the other vehicle for, for goods and uh, transportation, for ship, for airplane. And so, um, and Right now, we focus on, on the automatic um, CAN bus or LIN bus. That is the, the topic that I want to sh share to all of you. Um, um, from this um, slide, I will tell you more um, something about uh, the uh, vehicle electronic research center. First, I will mention about our goal and uh, members and our competi competence and uh, our achievement. OK. And, um, this vehicle electronic research center was established in 2015. Um, uh, since um, the vehicle electronics is quite diverse, it covers many fields. Um, the first one is uh, integrated circuit design, and the second one is the double uh, the traditional ele electrical engineering. Um, the third one is the communication system because we can provide. Um, uh, not only us, no, um, a vehicle can provide uh, some valuable data to to the cloud. Uh, we can um, I, I, um, uh, utilize this data to uh, to get more profit from that. Uh, we also embed some professor from mechanical engineering and uh, transportation and 
transportation management engineering. So it's a quite diverse uh, integration under this uh, vehicle electronic research center. Um, right now we focus on the um, the protocol, something protocol about Kimbus and the Limbus is kind of standard uh, Bosch, uh, proposed by Bosch in 1983. Um, uh, we also have the capability to develop the um, hardware or firmware design based on the onboard diagnostics. OBD, that is the onboard diagnostics. Um, I, I, I heard that uh, your government, that is the Indian government required every vehicle to have to provide this kind of interface. Yeah, we also have um, familiar with kind of protocol that is the J1939, which is used for the heavy duty vehicle. We also are familiar with the Limba J U bus. Okay, um, our research um, center is the first vehicle cybersecurity lab also lab in Taiwan. We all, we right now we are moving um, our research interest to um, the vehicle cybersecurity, and um, in. This research center, we gather many funding from the um, government, uh, the most means the Ministry of, Ministry of Science and Education and Technology. We got more than 2 million anti diaries, we did about uh, 5 million uh, INR, uh, Indian rupee um, per year. We got funding from Education, of, um, education Ministry of Education, uh, we got more than 2 million. Uh, NT dollars, that is about five uh, million. Uh, and uh, also, we have many, many, many cooperation with the industry. Yeah. So, the um, customer um, had two tracks, three tracks. And the first one is uh, IC um, integrated circuit design. Right now, in Taiwan, we have more than 280 uh, IC design companies in Taiwan. Though it's, it's small, but they are strong. Um, the number of integrated circuit design. Um, house in many China, though they, um, the number is much more than that in Taiwan, but the quality um, of Taiwan is much higher than that in many China. So you can rely on this. Um, the second customer that we can, we can provide technology for them is that the module design components of accessory company. We help them to create more vehicle electronics to, to, to to leverage their value. And the third one is a free major. We can provide some module for them to have to come to control the data or the um, output from the, the fleet. And that can help the driver driver to improve their driving behavior. This slide showed our basic idea of this vehicle electronics center. And right now we have more than um, six experimental car. And um, we are uh, familiar with kind of interface that is the onboard diagnostics. Right now our capability can't change the anything inside the vehicle. However, we can design um, a, a dongle like this called the OBD2 dongle. We also can um, combine the technologies uh, such as the ADAS ADAS, ADAS means the advanced um, driver uh, assistance system. And it's kind of uh, another uh, technology for autonomous vehicle. And right now we can combine this kind of data together and the fuel unit and uh, send it to the cloud. And on the cloud we can data, uh, web data, then we have two things that, can, that we can do. That is the driver behavior monitor and the second thing is that um, we have the capability to 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 help some company to 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 monitor the vehicle status. Uh, these are the faculty uh, joined um, this research center. Uh, I, I just highlight the department there and uh, the uh, the expertise. Uh, for me here, there is the, the electronic department, and we invite the mechanical engineering department. For this professor, he is strong on the fuel cell. And uh, right now we have two we have two autonomous vehicles in this campus. And uh, in this camp, um, this autonomous vehicle, you know, we equipped with the fuel cell. Uh, we also have um, professor uh, strong on the machine learning, deep learning, and the CNN artificial intelligence um, algorithm. We also have professors strong on the database and uh, and the building of the platform. 
We also have cooperation with the High Performance Computing Center in Taiwan. And we also involved another um, professor from, and, and that is the National Qingong University. And this professor is good at the research provided. Okay. Now I will um, speak about our co um, our co competence at the left hand side. That is the our, our it's this thing um, this thing technology we can provide. So at the right hand side, at the right hand side is the current research trend that we are going to. Uh, for the left hand side, that is the IBM means in vehicle networking. Right now, two week of bus we we can develop uh, for our customer. That is the Kim bus and the Lin bus. And later, I will show you uh, more on this um, Kim bus or Lin bus. Also, my assistant, that is the Dr. Prasad, uh, will uh, go go into detail for all of you. And this are uh, the protocol under this um, this standard. We also can provide the reliable and analysis. I mean the reliable analysis because we call electronics quite different with the strategic electronics. And the most important things of the vehicle electronics that it should, it should be reliable and durable. And the right hand side is our research direction. And that is, uh, we, we can and do something for, on the cyber security. And, uh, and for this part is the driver behavior analytics. And right now we have many perfects join us, they are strong and artificial intelligence. And because for me, I can provide accurate data for, for the research for, for the customer. So based on the accurate data, they can um, do some research um, for the driving behavior of the vehicle status or um, even to inspect the, the, the accurate or not accurate data um, and generated from the Kimbus or Limbus. Yeah. Uh, and, and this um, slide give you a basic idea of the um, Kimbus and Limbus. Um, in this um, research center, we are professional on the Kimbus and the Limbus protocol. In this figure, um, um, for the um, dot nine, dot nine, uh, for this night, uh, this uh, campus and this part is uh, the bus. We can see that um, campus is a, a central normal system. You can um, regard that a uh, vehicle is just like a human. Human. Um, we have two normal system. Uh, one is a central normal system, and the second one is a free first um, normal system. And for the campus, is what it is equipped as a number um, the central normal system. It used to control um, the ECU, that is the elect electrical continuity for um, power train, chassis, engine, something like that. Uh, we have second um, we we call bus, that is the limb bus. And it was uh, it is equipped in the body electronics to control the window, or um, door, or the wiper, or front light, or um, tail light, something like that. Um, we are strong at the um, uh, protocol. We also are strong at the uh, um, circuit design. And right now we are the only one uh, solution provider of MENA6. And in Taiwan, uh, we are the only solution provider of them. And because we can develop the application based on the MENA6, um, very special chip for the microcontroller. Um, and this figure shows that um, what we are developing uh, for the can transceiver, we also help customer in Taiwan. That is the circuit design customer, integrate circuit design customer to develop their can transceiver. Uh, we right now we have two projects with customer. Um, also, we help our customer to develop a special chip for the uh, can controller or the general microcontroller, and then we can integrate that together to build this kind of dongle code OBD2. Bridge or OBD2 or dongle. And based on this dongle, it can access the information through the, this interface. And the interface is called OBD2. OBD2, that is the onboard diagnosis 2. So after we can get the accurate information from this interface, 
we can provide the data um, through the, the wire the channel or wireless channel. For the wire the channel, you can provide the application um, such as uh, uh, head up display or augmented uh, uh, reality uh, head up display or help a customer to develop the t bus uh, because of all these application based on the accurate data from the uh, vehicle um, uh, from this uh, OBD2 interface. Right now we are, we have a project with um, uh, company uh, that developed the uh, NBLT module. Also, we have a project with um, the uh, uh, communication um, research institute in Taiwan uh, because they are fo they focus on the five G uh, communication. And uh, we have um, because we have experimental car, we also can develop this, so we can provide this kind of communication link to the five G five G. Uh, we can help them to build the kind of database, this kind of cloud database, and then to do something about the uh, fleet management system. Uh, we also can um, provide us, um, some um, hardware or phone wave solution for our customer. And, and this car is quite different with the car in previous slides. And this car um, is a light duty vehicle. And this car is called a high uh, heavy duty vehicle is more than 14,000 um, pounds. Um, we have two collaboration with um, um, cargo transportation company in Taiwan. Uh, one, uh, one is the two bus. Um, the second one is actually is the two bus company. Uh, we can also can develop kind of dongle to access information through the interface code Z1939. Uh, it was developed by the Society of Automatic Engineering. And through this um, can burst, uh, we can access the information through the heavy duty vehicle. Um, actually for, for this heavy duty vehicle, it can provide more than 8,000 um, kinds of uh, kind of data. Uh, based on this data, also we can do many application, create many application. Um, something like that for the head up display, uh, driving, uh, uh, driving um, vehicle recorder, or some interesting head up display or diagnostic scanner. Um, 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 same as the um, light duty vehicle, we also can uh, create a communication link based on the, the LoLa or uh, IoT or some or 5G channel and to do more analysis on the free management system. In our um, research center, we have more than six the cars in, in this campus. It means that um, we have um, a small car donated from um, a vehicle company in Taiwan, a vehicle manufacturing in Taiwan. Uh, also, we um, rent um, many different vehicles um, in Taiwan because we want to evaluate the functionality and the reliability of, of the how well we develop. So um, uh, beside this experimental car, uh, we also rent um, uh, one experimental car actually per week uh, for, our, for our researcher. So, uh, so the researcher or uh, the engineer in our research, uh, research center can um, test the functionality or reliability. And, um, and this slide shows you some difference about uh, um, the capability that we, we have. And this car actually is a Nissan Tilda. It's a, a special model in, Thai, um, in Taiwan. And this is uh, the light we turn on um, externally. And that is we use our hardware to, to, uh, to intrude. That is actually the intrude uh, in vehicle networking and uh, turn on um, the, um, the black car black light to turn it up, to turn it up. And in our campus, uh, we have two autonomous um, car, and they are um, developed by a very famous um, company. That is the Acer. But right now they um, donated to us. Right now we are reconstructing this two vehicle. Um, if, the, um, if there is some possibility, uh, some researcher in India, uh, you are interested to, to care, create a, a more interesting design that can be put on this. Uh, autonomous vehicle, I'm quite happy to, to, to cook this kind of possibility. 
Now I'm I'm the first one to get the donation um, um, vehicle from common um, manufacturer, and we also have a good very relationship with heavy duty um, manufacturer or our um, transportation company. Um, this the, the two bus company uh, because they want to have more accurate data from the interface. Um, so they asked to develop some circuit design, and it is me. Okay, so uh, this kind of uh, things that um, actually this is my uh, assistant. Um, one year ago, he is my uh, master's degree student. Uh, before he uh, graduated, that is the uh, is oral defense. And we hired uh, two of us, and uh, there is a reviewer. And uh, in, the, uh, in his um, oral defense, uh, he had to present and the real thing um, that can be equipped in this tool bus to show you, uh, to show something uh, to the review. We also do something different on the, um, the garage truck that also, because in Taiwan, um, the truck are asked to provide this kind of data to the government. That is the tachograph. In Taiwan, we call it tachograph, tachograph. And we are uh, developing a digital tachograph Tachograph for the uh, transportation vehicle or the garbage uh, uh, truck vehicle, and that. so if there is any possibility to to create the cooperation between Taiwan and uh, India, I, I hope that we can succeed succeed on this. In summary, um, here we we provide the accurate uh, in vehicle networking data for for our customer. Uh, the customer in, um, includes the uh, integrated circuit design and uh, uh, ECU design. ECU means uh, electrical control unit design, um, especially for the vehicle, elect uh, vehicle electrical control unit. Also, we provide uh, accurate data for um, uh, free management um, company. And the final goal is that we can create a, a cooperation portability with insurance company. Because in Taiwan, and the insurance fee for either for uh, for male or for female, um, for for, um, for the same age um, person, and um, your in insurance fee is the same. But in United States or in Europe, um, the insurance fee depends on what you drive and how you drive. So based on our knowledge, we can provide the accurate in vehicle data, and uh, even for the driver because the driver can know. The exact, exact um, things, exact something uh, happened in their vehicle. So they don't worry about the safety and uh, they can provide more evidence when there, there is an accident uh, happened for him or her. Or oh, because we provide the accurate data and uh, for the auto repair company, um, they, and, and they reduce the searching and uh, they can control their supply. Um, and demand the spread chain, something like that. Uh, and, and in this figure, um, 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 compare with the, the goal and the, the customer, and there is the um, technology that we can provide for this customer. There is the campus limbus or internal scene because um, the data will be um, linguist the uh, uh, internet of things. As right now we are developing the artificial intelligence. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, and this is our slogan that we can provide like good in, in vehicle data. Okay, that is all that uh, the something I show you today. And uh, later, my assistant, that is the Dr. Prasa, I will um, go more uh, detail for all you. Yep, Dr. Prasa. Thank you, Prasa. Yeah. Could you query something or say hello to some person? Okay. Yes, you can play video. Okay, video. Mm. Play video. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Play video. Good. Now I will play two wait, wait. video about our works. Show audio. Share audio. Don't show this tip. Mm. This one? This one? Mm. This 
it will take that. It's okay. You can talk. I can talk. Okay. Okay. Let's talk. Okay. Let's stop it. Okay. Let's stop it. The temperature stop. Okay. Okay. I know that. I know that. Okay. And um, the videos um, show you. Um, uh, one work we did for the customer. Um, this is the location of the VODBD2. Um, I seen every vehicle there in outside um, in India, and you can have an inspection that whether your car have this kind of uh, OBD2. I, I do believe that um, this kind of interface is exist in your vehicle. Um, we um we we um we equip um uh, that uh, OBD2 dongle inside the vehicle and and in this vehicle um show some interesting about hijack that is because we intrude um this vehicle and in this um, slide um, this picture you see that uh, there is the, the key uh, belongs to the female driver. Actually, this female driver is the owner of this vehicle. But uh, you can think about that. You can think about that um, this gentleman is the, a technician, a maintenance technician of this vehicle. Um, after his um, fixing, after his worst though, for the maintenance about this vehicle, he equipped um, something, something here. Here, OK? Here, and then we can control the um, the open of the door. Hey, okay. okay. We try to open or un unlock. Um, Lock or lock the, the door um, via this um, application after through the Bluetooth interface. And now it's unlocked. Uh, and now it's unlocked. And then lock. And lock. Right now it's locked. Yes. All the uh, later we will uh, push the the home. We were involved the bar. Um so the home actually is initialized by by um, this app. Yep. The second video is that Oh, here is the uh, OBD2 interface that I mentioned many times that um, I do believe that um, every vehicle in, in India, you do have this kind of interface. Otherwise, you can't diagnose your car. And it is the special something we developed for our customer. It's called the uh, gear ship light. And from this status of the LED light, it, it helped um, the driver to to change the, the ship based on the mm -hmm. RPM status. And this is it too fast. And there is the OBD2 interface. Uh, interface. And inside this um, dongle, we develop our own chip and hardware and firmware. That's a kind of interesting interface to show the information access through the OBD2 dongle. Uh, uh, this is 
the um, and the talk and uh, the airflow um, there is a voltage of the battery that the current temperature there is the rpm that the, the speed yep. <laughs> Record the, the driver behavior in this uh, SD card and uh, do some analysis through this kind of the chart. Okay, Rasa, mm, okay. it's your turn. Mm, okay. Hopefully, it's clear to all of you. <laughs> Yes, sir. Is it clear, sir? Hello. Can you hear me, sir? Hello. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It was clear, sir. We have second speech develop, um, delivered by Prasad. Okay. 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 Um, Thank you. Okay. Prasad, go ahead. You can use Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, sir. Man. Yeah, one second, sir. So now I call upon Ms. Sarla to introduce our speaker. Yes, ma'am. I am very happy to introduce Dr. V. V. P. Prasa. He is a student of uh, Professor J. He received the degree B.E. in 2006 at Siday Amal Engineering College, Sivagangai. ME VL design in 2011, Beltic Engineering College, Chennai. In 2018, he done his PhD ECE, mm -hmm. Signal Processing so, and sir. Medical Informatics in Anna University. He worked as a system service engineer in Sakti Technologies from 2006 to 2009, executive in Mobile Tutor Limited, Chennai in 2016. He also worked as a lecturer in Panay College of Engineering in Sivagangai and the assistant professor in Sri Muthukumaran Institute of Technology during the year 2011 to 2015. He published four international journals. He attended many workshops and conferences and also he completed many certificate courses. We welcome you, sir. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. The participants can post your queries in the chat box. Once the session is finished, it will be addressed. Sir, you can start now, sir. Mm, okay, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for being here this afternoon and very warm welcome. Until I begin my presentation, I would like to thank Professor Tank for hiring me as a postdoctoral researcher in the Department of Electronic Engineering, Southern Taiwan University of Science and Technology, Taiwan. I would like to thank Charles Lee, former director, Taipei Economic and Cultural Center, Chennai. And I would like to thank Madam Dr. Kausalya and his team, Abarna and Saravana, for organizing this wonderful session. I have been working at Vehicle Electronic Research Center for past 18 months. And I'd like to talk about the research center in a brief overview. I will get into the presentation now. This is an outline of my talk, follows with introduction, overview, products, achievements, and successful story. Vehicle Electronics Research Center focused on CAN bus and LIN bus technology. CAN bus is used in vehicle for communications between ECU sensors and actuators. ECU stands for Electronic Control Unit. It is an embedded system in automotive electronics that controls one or more of the electrical systems or subsystems in a vehicle. Sensor stands for is a device that detects and responds to some type of input from the physical env environment. An oxygen sensor in a car emission control system detects the gasoline oxygen ratio, usually through a chemical reaction that generates a voltage. Actuator is a component of a machine that is responsible for moving and controlling a mechanism in a car. 
The control area network stands for CAN bus, is the nervous system which enables communication between all parts of the body. Likewise, nodes are like muscles connected via the CAN bus that functions as a central networking system. In turn, arms and legs are like electronic control units. A modern car can have up to 70 ECUs. About the overview, advances in automotive designs lead to an exponential increase in vehicle electronics. Enhancement to vehicle design today are mainly due to the applications of electronics to automotive system. Vehicle functions are divided into systems and subsystems to provide for passengers entertainment, comfort, and safety, as well as to improve vehicle performance and enhance powertrain control. These systems must communicate with one another over a complex heterogeneous in-vehicle network. Each network typically contains multiple communication protocols, including the industry standard, CAN, LIN, and recently developed flex race standard. Now I get into the products. These are the products we developed in our research center. For This is for light duty vehicles. Vehicles, we call it as OBT2 bridge. OBT2 D stands for onboard diagnosis. Okay. Light duty onboard diagnosis bridge, which is an in vehicle informant cost competitive product to get vehicle information on CAN bus. That is a CAN transceiver that has both CAN high and CAN low signal pins. The information about the CAN bus will be transmitted to the MCU through the SBI interface. A Bluetooth module we are using in the device is JDY 23 is connected to MCU using the UART interface. Depending on the system integration requirements, the Bluetooth modules can be removed for hardwired applications through UART interface. In the right side, you can able to see the picture. There is a OB2 port which is located below the steering. Once you fix the, fix our OB2 bridge, they have two LED lights. Once, uh, once you fix the bridge, you can able to blink. You can able to see the light which is blinking in red and green. Meanwhile, you need to download the app. That for Android, there is an app called Core Scanner. For iPhone or for Apple, you need to download as a Core Scanner. And they have many different apps. All apps will support our bridge because we follow the ISO standards. Once you connect the bridge, and then you can able to read all the parameters inside the vehicle. In the dashboard, you can able to see only a few parameters as like RPM, speed, uh, like this. Apart from that, in light duty vehicle, we have more than 150 parameters. You can able to customize in the app, and then you can able to know what is speed, what is the RPM, what is the temperature, everything you can able to see. The main features of our bridge, it supports both CAN 2.0A and CAN 2.0B is based on the ISO 11898. 2.0 is the first version of CAN. It supports 11 bits. The second version is CAN 2.0. It supports exit up to 29 bit. It meets the standard. CAN. It passes the automotive reliability test, integrated Bluetooth and API for development. It supports all the app development. The very, we verified the vehicles. Yeah, as like Mercedes, Benz, Ford, all different kind of all vehicles which is in the market. Next product is for heavy duty. We follow the standard as J1939. It's a SAE standard. It's a high level communication protocol which operates on a control area network, which is an in vehicle informant cost competitive product. The hardware design is based on our SAE J1939 OBT2 device with Bluetooth to get vehicle information such as speed, engine speed, Colon temperature, IAT sensor, app, everything. The J1939 bridge contains three parts. They are of CAN transceiver, TJA1050, and microcontroller. We are using the MCU from Renesis RL78, and the Bluetooth we are using as HC05. The data transmission rate is up to 250 kilobits to 500 kilobits. It supports the IS, it supports the standard for heavy duty SA J1939. This bridge will support for all the trucks and buses. The operation voltage is a DC 9 volt to 60 volt. The main of the main feature, the application, the bridge is mainly used for the applications like fleet management, vehicles, and drivers. You can able to navigate by using the GPS. We can able to know where is the vehicle at the current location. You can able to see. So these are the products we developed in our research center. 
we have few more products like this but i listed only few this is can ob2 bridge it is used for light duty vehicles or four wheelers this j1939 bridge is used for heavy duty vehicles this is one of the signal generator we have many different we have different signal generator as like lin signal generator j1939 signal generator and ob2 signal generator this is for ob2 data recorder you can continuously record your vehicle data for 6 hours this is we call it as a gear shift light once the light is started blinking you need to know you need to shift your gear so you can gain more energy in your vehicle so this is about the can and ob2 hardware and software equipments these are the teaching materials which we teach for our students in our lab by using so that they can able to know what is ob2 from the basic so we are using the product from the analyzer as logic analyzer and the oscilloscope we are using a company called vector and we are using the peak can usp to read the vehicle param vehicle data and we are using the national instrument can bus packages and the softwares which is we are using as a vector can oe and in our in our lab we have attend many exhibition every year we are attending domestic exhibition as well as the international exhibition for this year we didn't attend any domestic exhibition but we attended international exhibition in the month of january we attended consumer electronics show in, at las vegas in usa and also we attended automotive world 2020 in a, in tokyo in january 15 to 17 so First time when we attend at CES 2017, at the time we are promoting a OB2 bridge for light duty vehicle. But this year we promote different kind of products for heavy duty vehicle. That product would be useful for fleet management, UBI usage based insurance. So these are the activities we are doing. So this is Professor Chang delivery a speech on recent trends in vehicle electronics focused on CANBUS, OBT2, SA and SAE J1939 to students, researchers and faculty at various institutions in Chennai during his India visit on October 21 to 23, 2019. He visited two campuses in Anna University, one is College of Engineering, another one is the MIT campus, and he given a real-time demo in the MIT, the engineering design in IIT Metros in the in engineering design department and he given a delivery a speech in Veltech at the department of electronics and also we participated a smart asia exhibition in mumbai uh, during 2019 october and uh, these are my well, vehicle electronic research center members and thank you for your attention thank you so much Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you for Thank the you, session. So now mm -hmm. I call upon Ms. Aparna, Department of Chemistry, to join the session. I hand over to Professor. Uh, yep. Ma'am. Hello. Hello. Has has to Aparna. Yes. Sir. Thank you for that wonderful session. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, my pleasure and the honor. Yes, sir, Professor. Thank you. Thank you so much for that exemplary session. As of now, we are not having any queries from the participant side. So I always feel that words are a powerless way to express our gratitude. So I kindly request Mr. Saravanan, Assistant Professor, AAA Department, to propose the vote of thanks. Sorry, I can't understand. No, they will do the vote of thanks. Good evening to all. What of thanks? What of thanks? What does it mean? Word of thanks. Almighty. Book no. of sense. I am here Word. to present the word of thanks because. on the special day. Yeah. On behalf of Dr. M J Educational and oh, Research yeah. Institute. Yeah. I wish to express my. I, I wish to express my sincere thanks to our honorable founder, Chancellor, Dr. ACS, sir, yes, sir, and yes. our honorable president, yes. engineer, ACS, Arun Kumar, sir, for accepting to organize this wonderful webinar. I extend my thanks to our Dr. S. Geeta Lakshmi, Vice Chancellor of our university, 
డాక్టర్ సిబి పళనివేలు రిజిస్ట్రార్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ యూనివర్సిటీ డాక్టర్ వి సిరిల్ రాజ్ జాయింట్ రిజిస్ట్రార్ అకాడమిక్ అండ్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ అండ్ డాక్టర్ డిబి జబరాజ్ జాయింట్ రిజిస్ట్రార్ ఈఎండ్ఎస్ ఫర్ దర్ కాన్స్టెంట్ సపోర్ట్ ఎ స్పెషల్ థాంక్స్ టు అవర్ డీన్ ఈబిఏ ఎల్ రమేష్ సార్ ఫర్ షేరింగ్ ఈస్ ఫర్ అరేంజింగ్ సచ్ ఎ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఫర్ దిస్ వెబినార్ మై స్పెషల్ థాంక్స్ టు అవర్ డాక్టర్ ఎన్ఎస్ శుభశ్రీ మ్యామ్ ఫర్ హిస్ అడ్వైస్ అండ్ గైడెన్స్ టువర్డ్స్ ద సక్సెస్ఫుల్ కంప్లీషన్ ఆఫ్ ద థర్డ్ డే ఇంటర్నేషనల్ వెబినార్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ మై హార్ట్ ఫుల్ థాంక్స్ టు అవర్ స్పీకర్ ప్రొఫెసర్ జింగ్ టువర్ థాంగ్ సదన్ తైవాన్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ సైన్స్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ థ్యాంక్ యూ ప్రొఫెసర్ yeah my pleasure we have excellent talk yeah we have excellent talk about yeah medical electronics and vehicle electronics in future play a vital role in electronics only so from your information we are focusing we are listening and utilizing your thesis research and articles also next we have to say thanks to mr charles charles lee who myanmar the ambassador myanmar ambassador who introduced the speaker to us special thanks to our the ambassadors next the second speaker pv prasad yes. oh, he yeah, gave yeah, a more sir. information about yeah, the fellowship yeah, yeah. research no, 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 pdf oh, yeah yeah <laughs> the research pdf okay. the facilities in our laboratories how to utilize for the research scholars what are the information what are the uh, the uh, exhibitions they have conducted all this sharing this knowledge is very useful for us in future we are utilizing your research laboratory also so i thank all the participant yeah. for their kind support for this the third day webinar the third international webinar once again i thank you all thank you professor thank you me too yeah thank you uh, dr sarabha thank you thank you thank you sure. professor for that wonderful talk thank you prasad sir thank you ma'am so you are spending a lot of time with us despite of your busy yeah. schedule thank you so much for that so on yeah. this occasion i would like to thank everyone who has supported us in conducting this webinar so it's always said life is challenging so we have to keep growing keep changing and keep challenging ourselves with this note i would like to get a sign off from you all until we meet you with a session on overview of electronic polling strategies tomorrow with our speaker mr webin thank you all for joining us we'll meet you with the session tomorrow thank you